The Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds are a frustrating product. They've got a great comfortable design and about the best noise cancellation I've ever experienced in a set of earbuds. Unfortunately though, they do come with quite a few downsides, but first let's talk about the good things with these buds. These buds are extremely comfortable. Bose gives you a bunch of these, what they call stability bands to place around the earbuds so you can get the most comfortable and stable fit. There's a bit of a learning curve to getting them placed correctly on the bud, but once you figure it out and put them in your ears, you'll likely find them to be quite comfortable. Now, before switching to these buds for six months, the buds I had been wearing were the Sony WF-1000 XM4s, which I've also reviewed. And in terms of comfort, especially when you're wearing buds for hours on end, I found that the Bose are considerably more comfortable and the Bose earbuds go less deep into your ear than the Sony's. I can wear these Bose earbuds for hours on end and when I pull them out of my ear, my ears don't feel sore. Now next, let's talk sound quality. Overall, I think these sound pretty good. They're not as good as the Sony WF-1000 XM4s. With those, I think you get a little bit more detail in the music you listen to. And when I first got these, I did think their bass was a bit much, but thankfully they give you an EQ setting in the Bose app to make adjustments. With my adjustments, I was able to more closely match the sound profile I'm used to with my Sony earbuds. Now, part of what makes any modern day earbuds sound good to me is noise cancellation. It's canceling out all of the ambient noise around you, allowing you to hear a wider range of frequencies that aren't being drowned out by some external noise. And let me tell you, if you want like the best noise cancellation put in a set of earbuds today, I think these earbuds are probably it. They're noise cancellation. It is very impressive, especially if you just go out, walk in a city where there's a lot of noise and it just cuts everything out. Unfortunately, there are some annoyances that I have found with the noise cancellation on these. During exercise, I'll find my buds will rotate slightly, just enough where they'll let in more outside noise. So every once in a while, I have to rotate them back in so they slide a little bit more into my ears and then I notice the noise cancellation gets better. Now, this could just be because I picked the wrong stability bands for these earbuds, but these were the ones that seemed like they would fit the best. Now, another annoyance I found with the noise cancellation on these buds is they don't do a great job of masking either high pitched noises or just really loud noises, especially when I'm doing something like pounding out chicken. I've got to take these buds out because they'll just let in this like clipping noise or something every time the mallet hits the chicken. And this is not something I've experienced with other audio devices like the AirPods Max or my Sony WF-1000 XM4 earbuds. Another thing that's pretty good with these buds is transparency mode. I've actually got it enabled right now and overall my voice sounds clear. I think this is one of the better transparency modes I've heard, though not the best. My voice still sounds like a little distant and it, it doesn't sound like I'm not wearing earbuds. The best for me still goes to the AirPods Max where it doesn't even sound like I'm wearing headphones. Another great feature of these buds is their touch controls. Overall, they've worked great and they not only let you play, pause, skip forward and skip back like you would expect with a pair of earbuds, but they also let you adjust their volume by just swiping up and swiping down, which is a rarity in the world of earbuds. Another standout feature I thought Bose did a good job with is the setup experience with the Bose app. Bose gives you clear instructions with animations to walk you through the product. Now, apart from the initial setup and the EQ adjustments, I don't really go into the Bose app all that often, except for making sure that the firmware on the buds has been updated and troubleshooting issues. Next, let's talk about battery life, and overall, it's been great. The buds are rated for six hours of playback on a charge, and the case holds 18 hours. They also support quick charging, just 20 minutes of charging will net you up to two hours of playback. So that's everything I've liked about these buds over the past six months. Now let's talk downsides. And unfortunately with these buds, there are quite a few, though I guess that is the benefit of having a six month review period. And if you like the fact that we do reviews only after six months, make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
The first and most annoying downside I've run into with these buds is sometimes they'll just refuse to connect to my phone. To remedy this issue, I'll have to go back into the Bluetooth settings on my iPhone or in the Bose app and manually connect to the buds. Another annoying issue I've run into with these buds are audio cutouts. This typically happens when I'm out on a walk. I've got my phone in my pants pocket with the case like over the phone and I'll just get cutouts uh, with whatever I'm listening to. And another annoyance I've had with these buds is when I first put them in and I'm getting ready to listen to a podcast or something, noise cancellation will not come on and I'm unable to trigger it by just long pressing the left earbud. The only way I've been able to solve this issue is to take the buds back out and then put them back in again. Another downside I've encountered is when I'm wearing the buds and pick up a call on my phone. My iPhone won't automatically switch the call over to my buds. I have to do it manually almost every time, which is incredibly annoying and something I haven't experienced as much with other buds. Another downside with the buds I found is mic quality. It's just okay. All right, these are the Bose QC2s. This is how their mics sound. And these are just the standard second gen AirPods. This is how their mics sound. And this is how the WF-1000 XM4s sound. All right, and these are the Pixel Buds Pro. This is how their mics sound. All right, and these are the Galaxy Buds Pro 2. This is how their mics sound. And these are the Bose QC2s. This is how their mics sound. I get the feedback that people can't hear me very well, especially when there is a ton of background noise around me, like cars, traffic, things like that. And that's feedback that I've gotten when I'm wearing other wireless earbuds. It's not necessarily outside of the norm for wireless earbuds, but what has been surprising is the number of occurrences where people are like, what, I'm sorry, I can't hear you, that I've gotten with these buds over the other ones I've had. Oddly, Bose doesn't seem to use the tips of these earbuds for mic placement like Apple does with their iconic stem design. This, I think, is certainly an odd choice. Typically, the closer you can get a microphone to somebody's mouth, the better the overall vocal quality is going to be. So I'm not exactly sure why Bose didn't take advantage of that in their design. Now, before we get to recommendations, there are a few more slight downsides I need to cover. First is the case. It's a bit big for my taste, and I think Bose could do some work here to try and slim it down for their next-gen buds. Also, the case doesn't support wireless charging, which for buds that cost close to 300 US dollars, I mean, come on. All right, so recommendation time. Now, given the high cost of these buds and the amount of downsides and issues I've had with them over the past six months, unfortunately, I just can't recommend spending the money on them, which really sucks because the noise cancellation on these is pretty much best in class. I'll continue to check in on these buds after this review. If anything changes, I'll leave that in a review follow-up in our free monthly newsletter. And if you haven't done so already, I'll leave a link to sign up for it in the description below. If you're in the market for a premium set of earbuds, Sony is rumored to be coming out with their next generation of buds that will be comparable to this Bose set. And from the leaks I've seen, they should improve on their comfort. Or if you're an Apple user, of course, looking at the AirPods Pro makes sense. And right now you can get the Sony WF-1000 XM4s on sale for $100 off at the time of recording, which I pointed out in our free monthly newsletter where I'll sometimes post deal alerts as well. If you wanna learn more about the earbuds or any other earbuds that I've reviewed and recommend, I'll leave purchase and review links in the description below. Now, if you want to see all of the reviews I've done on earbuds, headphones, and other audio devices, you can do so by clicking the playlist here. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.